Hey everyone, this is Phil from Ribrave. Today, you're going to learn how to inflate an inflatable boat and set up the aluminum floorboards inside. Make sure that if you're working on a rough surface to place a tarp on the floor to prevent damage to your boat. First, gently unroll the inflatable boat. If you're using a high volume foot pump, locate the air out port. Then, secure the air hose to the foot pump. Locate the air valves on the inner part of the boat tubes. This is where you will inflate the boat using a foot pump. The air valve has two settings. The open setting is when you gently push and twist the pin into the air valve. This setting is used when deflating the boat. For the closed setting, gently push and twist the pin so it's standing out from the valve. This prevents air from leaving the tubes once inflated. Set the pin to the closed setting for all of the air valves. Now get the air hose connected to your foot pump and put it inside of the air valve. Then gently twist until it is locked. Partially inflate your boat by repeatedly pressing down on the pump with your foot. At this point, you want to pump just enough air into your boat so that you can place the floorboards inside. Start by placing the forwardmost floorboard inside of the boat. Make sure that the keel's air valve is visible and accessible through the floorboard. Then, place the smallest floorboard towards the back of the boat. When placing the floorboards down, try to make sure they are centered. This will make placing the side rails on the next step easier for you. Make sure that the rearmost floorboard is underneath the transom's floorboard lock. The floorboards connect by placing them into one another, where the edges allow like the image is shown. Connect the floorboards, ensuring they are centered. When you place your last floorboard down, keep one end of it on top of the middle floorboard. Connect the two floorboards by simultaneously lifting them up, then evenly ease them down and push towards the floor. If you're having trouble with this step, deflate the tubes until you're able to. This is your side rail that lock your floors in place. You want the round part to be against the tube and the square part to connect to the floorboards. Locate where two aluminum floorboards meet and slide the side rail onto the floorboards until it's seated properly. If any fabric gets caught underneath the rail or floorboard, hold the floor and rail down, then pull the fabric out. Repeat this step on both sides of the floorboards. Before inflating the boat to maximum capacity, fit the seats onto the nylon straps. You are now ready to inflate your boat. You can tell when there is enough air inside of the tubes when there are no wrinkles on the outside and top part of the tubes. When you're finished inflating a tube, be sure to screw the cap back onto the air valve. The last tube you should inflate is your keel tube, which takes very little air. By inflating the keel tube, it creates a nice deep V keel. Put the oar into the oar lock by twisting off the cap and sliding the oar onto the bar, then twist the cap back on. Secure the oar by pulling down on the oar grip and pushing the oar inside. Repeat this step on the other side as well. Congratulations, you have successfully set up your inflatable boat. 
be sure to like the video if it helped you. Go to ribrave.com now to find great deals on boats and other outdoor recreational items. Until next time, happy boating!